Holy roly poly moly guacamole, it's Will Survivor and I'm Scooby Doo Bop back with another one. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on guys? It's a freaking beautiful day. We've been having such nice weather. Lately, right now it's 40 degrees. I'm gonna get hot building this house. Uh, but this is where we're at guys. We got the roof up. I actually got to climb up there and secure some of those in the top. Got the floor done, raised up on some two by fours. So hopefully water is running down this hill and just under and out. Either way, we can replace those two by fours at any point if they ever rot. We got these green canvas tarps for the roof. Hooper, please put that down, bud. Please put it down, bud. Hooper, you're a good boy. Drop it, drop it. Hooper, drop it, drop it, drop the bag, drop the bag, drop the bag. Okay, we got these to hopefully screw in the canvas starts. Door hinges for his door, lock for the inside, lock for the outside. We're going to get it done. Who? Drop the bag. All right, guys, we're all mic'd up today, too, so you guys are going to be able to hear. Skidoo. <clears throat> so we got three of these canvas tarps. Heavy duty. Six feet by eight feet. Oh, I might have messed up, guys. Let me do some math real quick. So this is eight feet. That doesn't matter. This length does not matter. That's about seven. We have... 118 and 102 equals 220 divided by 12. 18.3 feet. 16, 24. 6, 12, 18. Hmm. It could be, guys, 0.33 feet short. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, let's see. Either way, I'm going to be laying the first tarp in the middle at the top and then the other two going underneath that so the water just, you know what I'm saying guys. Let's see. And guys, this is going to be sweet. It's going to be all green and clean in the middle. Oh shit. Okay, actually guys, first I'm putting the side ones on so I can see where, but I'm not going to put them on fully. Just just enough so i can test this out what's up poop dog it's in your mouth i don't think six will do it we gotta go eight i want that at least below the floor Okay. Okay, guys, and obviously these will be pulled way tighter when I'm putting them up permanently, but. Oh yeah, as I was saying, just putting them up to figure out where the middle of this top one has to go. I'm gonna take them down. Ching pow. Where's the middle of this thing? And that overlaps too. That's great. Great news. This side might be. 
taller. Oh no, it's going to work. It's going to work. Now we got to hope this works good. A lot of times screwing into something loose-ish, it'll, it'll wrap it up. But I'm going to pull it tight and try. And these little screws have that rubber gasket on it. So hopefully that's watertight. Probably. Just slide, just slide. Okay. <sighs> Moment of truth. Hopefully, this fits. No! I should have known because that's the screw. <sighs> well, it's gonna work now guys, but we got one, two, three, four, five holes in it six oh no it can't uh, but at least we can see the holes and we'll be able to patch them <sighs> We've got to remember to just patch these five holes but that is big money big big money done oh what do you think jesse looking sick yeah i want to move in right now <laughs> so sick you're gonna stay clean in here Hell yeah. Yeah, that'll be fucking close. <laughs> looks sick looks sick huh Very freaking nice. Probably added some support, maybe. I don't know. Now, guys, now that that's done, a couple days ago, we collected all these trees that we're going to cut up and use for the back and front wall. Right now, we're just going to work on getting the back wall covered because we want to do a door and a window on the front. Back wall, hoop dog. Do you like the stick? Do you want the stick? Go get the stick. Go get it. So, let's get her done. 46. Chain popped off. So guys, picked up these four inch screws. We got these two and a half inch screws and we got some bigger six inch screws. I hope we got enough to make it work. <sighs> okay. No, come here, come here. Give me that. Yeah, that worked.
Oh, what the heck? I just bumped the inside of my kneecap in such a weird spot. Oh. What? Down to 27 now, from 47. This right here on the hill walking up to my spot is the best clay-like stuff I have found. So I filled up a little bucket of it. I gotta go find grass or something. Oh yes. And I'm gonna mix it up and use that to fill all the gaps in between the little logs on Jesse's house. All right guys, we got mud. And we got some straw, whatever this is. Oh. Making cement, nature's concrete, baby. Too much grass. <laughs> oh man. And line all these cracks with it and hope that it stays. Jesse, you want to just set that up as a time lapse? I don't know where. Is the tripod up here? Holy roly poly moly guacamole. It's Will Survives and I'm Scoobity Boo Bob back with another one. Not bear, grills, but guess what's cooking on the grill? Bear, mops the lines in the cave on the mountain. No dare, I don't keep a gun cause I want the fight fair. I'm spinning the wheels on the truck in the snow. I ran out of beans, gotta go. Ha, find a way out. I'm at the lake tying knots, trying to hook, hook a worm, throw it in. Yeah, I'm fish for trout. I built the box for the clothes, built the box for the socks, built the bed. No more rock in the car in the gym. You can pass me the rock in the woods you can pass me the rock what's up guys as you can see it's coming down finally we had what like 10 days jesse yeah a bit beautiful weather no snow no nothing it was all sunny but now we're getting big old snowflakes woke up ate breakfast we're charging the batteries right now oh once those are charged up we're gonna go work on building jesse's house hopefully that's gonna be buildable we got all of Derek's lumber under tarps and in his cabin so it stays dry and snow protected. And hopefully this continues all day so we can ride the skidoo around again. And I'll keep you guys posted. Guys, look at how healthy of a beast Hoop Dog looks like. Look at this man. Hoop! Hoop! Let me show them how cool you are. He can carry this whole bone. Uh, what a beast. What a beast. Oh, goodbye. He's got the shoulders and the chest of a buffalo. And the freaking tenacity of a lion. 
the fearlessness of a badger and the agility and mobility of something like a mouse. And he's gonna be a hundred pounds. Absolute tank of a doggy dog. What's up, puppy dog? And he's so soft, even though I never wash him. Ooh. How oh, so soft, so soft. But yeah, he's basically a wolf, is what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Wolf? Wolf killer? Look at them big old paws, baby. Big old paws! Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We got um, chainsaw working, batteries charged. We're gonna build the door frame and the door right now. We got, ooh, come check it out, guys. This door, Lucky Thrives brought up and we failed. Wind blew it off the bathroom and it broke, but it's a perfect door for Jesse's house now. So gonna do that. We got two by fours to frame the door. Gotta. But yeah, we're gonna do that. So we gotta figure out some stuff. All right, guys, since we did the floor with OSB, we're covering it with this stuff so that it's waterproof. Not want to What do you guys think?
it's at least better than the OSB. All right, guys. Hopefully this door is going to work. God damn it. <clears throat> What do you guys freaking think? Now, be nice if we made this a little bit more airtight, eh? Very nice. <laughs> Looks pretty dank. What the fuck? That's here. Oh. Who is that? <laughs> guys, someone just pulled up. All right, guys. We're gonna cut. Go see what's up with this. What? It's ready, right? Oh shit! Ready! Yeah, you made it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man! God damn! You guys need some fucking turf up here, bro. Dude, we need something. Yeah. Can you check it out? I show you that oh, let's yeah. go. Crazy. Yeah, we'll check it out. I'm not like in a hurry to sell this, so I mean, you have time to think about it. All right, cool. Yeah, we were just building Jesse's house. Oh, shit. What and then that? it's up there. Oh, shit. You got to check that out, too. Oh, baby. Safety's on now, right? Uh, So this gun, the way you put the safety on this thing, bro, is like that's loaded so it's kind of dangerous so you got to be careful when you do this you hold this and pull your trigger and slide it whoa so it, it's it's interesting loaded, but it does have the safety right here on this side okay but it's not loaded or nothing right now dude it looks sick yeah these are the rounds it shoots too like damn said, bro, big boys all around gun bro Freaking yeah can take bear, down anything deer, fucking elk, whatever you want. It's pretty scary, though. dude it is 
super clean just that little scuff yeah, mark i don't under the seat, bro. yeah i don't care about none of that yeah yeah you just need the sting for it i had a sting on it but it was for my 270 so i had it. i was like i need that sting so i took it off no worries but yeah it's not fucking it's damn crazy. dude and then just this thing bro I, this is one thing that i didn't really like about it it drops it, it's it's mm. so you don't break it off like if you're traveling with it and ah. shit but if you're hunting just Make Flip sure you flip that fucker up. I mean, keep it up as long as you can, but yeah, just in case, no. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Is most, it loaded? Most thirty thirties have that. It's not loaded right okay. now. Okay. Let me see. I don't think it is. No, it's dry. And then you load it. You just slide in there. Put your bullet in. Slide, slide, slide. You trying to show me real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's muddy as hell out here, huh? Yeah, bro, I didn't expect it to be like, I told my, we got to the freaking entrance, I told my lady, oh, fuck, I said, should I even try it? <laughs> so the loading, you just slide it in. It's in. It's in. Whoa. So you could, that's the thing about this gun, bro, is you could fucking boom, load, boom, load, boom, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's quick, bro. Crazy. You put these in, you just fucking, remember, this is your safety. Slide forward. And this is just... The last one's a little bit hard to get in there. You gotta push your fingers in, but I mean, other than that, it's a it's cherry. If you need any of your guns cleaned or anything, bro, I could I could do it for you quick. I have a badass kit at the house. Oh sweet. For real. Yeah. Boom. We're gonna get, we'll get a booster or something. Bam! Check it out. Yeah. Door, baby. Yeah. This is this is a good size. Yeah. It won't be hard to keep this fucker warm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. At least big enough that you can stand up in yeah, it in yeah. some spots and then that makes a big difference yeah being able to stand up absolutely yeah i like how you guys did this on the inside that's a good idea yeah i, I just like the look of the logs yeah, yeah. on the outside and i was like shit, it'll probably hold and yeah these these went in cherry you guys are sinking it and everything oh yeah with all the mud inside that's smart oh yeah we got fucking we ain't got no shortage of mud up here huh <laughs> no shortage of mud and you can see the road we can see the road from up here too so we were like who the fuck's coming up <laughs> yeah what you say what the hell is that yeah <sighs> guys check it out we finally got some snow <laughs> oh gosh okay who who do you ready to go run around Guys, check out Hoop Dog running through the snow. He's a beast. Oh, shit. Well, he didn't go run through the snow like I thought. <sighs> we get to ride the skidoo now. That is awesome. Oh, man, we got to find everything that we lost yesterday. We probably lost everything yesterday. Damn. Snow was not on the forecast. It's only 26 degrees outside, but it's coming down. Was that hoop dog? Oh, no. <laughs> Crazy dude. Been a super windy day today. <laughs> But uh, the ground's covered in snow, guys. We're gonna ride the skidoo. And then we got we got big plans, guys. We got big plans.
shit's faster than I remember. Woo! into a tree. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I fucked up! I see you hit the tree again. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. No! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I broke you, it. Are you good? Holy shit, George. <sighs> Guys, I think I fucked up this could do. Dad will wear a helmet from now on. <sighs> Yo, we gotta get this out of here. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, first look at Jesse's house. It looks so cool. We gotta finish that up, but it's too snowy. Um, we gotta go get the chainsaw battery so we could cut that tree and get the skidoo out of there. See if it still runs. In the front there, I nailed the tree, guys. I hit it pretty hard. Um, but in the front. There's not much actual stuff. It's just like a little uh, storage container. And uh, it might be fine. So we're gonna see, guys. All right, guys, just a normal saw. I don't know why. Wow, we can see your house from here. That's crazy. I wonder. Nah, Look out! Oh. <laughs> Looks good to me! <laughs> Pray, pray hard. The hood is kind of messed up. What? The hood? Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. Yeah. Now, now this is rough. This is plastic. I don't know how that just bent and then snap. We kind of need a new hood, eh? Kind of, yeah. Can we use it without a hood? We park it in here. And only when we use it outside when we're using it. Okay. Boom! <laughs> this. Well guys, I got the hood off. And now, because I'm trying to figure out how to bend this back, this plastic and this metal. 
Not sure how to bend that plastic back. So guys, I'm working on fixing the skidoo. This is the only part we really got to fix besides uh, obviously that is bent out. And with, with these two things bent, it makes it quite hard to open and close the hood. But this bent back into shape, that's, that's money. So we just got to fix that and figure that out. I'm thinking drilling holes, beep, 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 and then zip ties for that. And then I don't know what to do about this. So we're going to try to figure this out. Jump right now. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's all right. And how are you gonna fix it? Strapping in. <laughs> Duct tape. You wanna film me? I wanna film you on the Show them the moves, Lucky. Hey. <laughs> you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh shit. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to film Jesse. <laughs> oh shit. That was sick, Jesse! <laughs> Guys, we're gonna hit the park. I'm gonna hit it hard. I got snow at my back. There's so many people. There's hella people. Someone's gonna eat shit. I'm gonna jump on them. Yeah, bro. Did you get it? It's the only way. Oh, she's packing it. <laughs> Oh, I got lucky too. <laughs> <laughs> Take another one. <laughs> Holy shit. Right until now. Right until now, guys. We're at Jesse's house, soon to be house. We got this back wall to do, this front wall to do, and this front wall to do. We, we're gonna do a window right here and then decided against it. Um, Cause it's, it's way harder to put a window in and we don't have a window. Um, and really the only time it's nice having a window is if you're kicking it in here during the day and Mr. Ross boss won't be kicking it in here during the day too much. This is mainly going to be like a sleeping corridors. Is that a word that makes yeah. sense? Okay. So, and if we just do logs, it'll be warmer too. The window lets heat out a little bit. He'll still have this so he can see in the morning if the sun's up yet. And we'll probably cut a hole somewhere to run cords. Ooh, guys, we have decided instead of cutting a hole in the roof, because um, I did cut a hole in those logs right there to run a chimney through. 
Um, and we got bent, we got a bent stove pipe so we could push it out that way because you can't really go straight out unless you want to do a really long hole. Um, but guys, we have decided to just put it in the back top so it'll go whoop, whoop, instead of going through the roof. And that's all our plans. Now we're gonna do it. We're gonna freaking do it. Guys, it started coming down way too hard. <sighs> too much to build. Uh, so we're gonna wait for this to stop. <sighs> and then go back. And if it doesn't stop, it just wasn't meant to be. Let's do it. What's going on, guys? Dude, first of all, Check out my freaking sweet hat. Coyote hat. Let's go. Um, I just finished editing what you guys just watched. Uh, I think I'm going to start a different editing style because I like the way that I edit certain stuff. Um, and I've also been failing at talking to you guys in the videos and only showing me building and then I was trying to talk during me building. And it's just not the same. But you guys want to see me build also. So I thought of a plan. Whew. Two types of videos. I'm going to video everything I do. And send that off to an editor. And have, have him edit. Just the building process. And then I will also separately, hopefully every other day, I'm hoping I can keep to that, give you guys an update of everything I've built, talk you through what was going through my mind building and what's going through my mind at the moment. Uh, because that's how I started making videos and I stopped doing that. So now we're doing both. Pretty genius. I just dropped Jesse off in Santa Fe at the airport for, uh, he's going to the Philippines. Jesse Ross, the sauce boss. He's going to be gone for three weeks. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to keep up on the, on the content. My short term goals and plans are to finish Jesse's house and then redo the shed on the side of my house and then redo the interior of the cabin and put in that wood stove in. I was gonna wait to give Alex the shout out for making that wood stove uh, until I put it in, but it, it might not be for a bit and I wanna uh, give a shout out to Alex for making me that wood stove and bringing it up. He is a guy. He's also uh, helping Lucky Thrives out with certain stuff. He's helping him with his truck and so he's, he's a G. What else, what else? Oh my gosh, guys, I got huge plans for the next two years. I realized I was happiest and most enjoying it the most when I was scared. When I first came out here, I was scared that I was not going to be able to complete the challenge, which was staying in this, building a cabin and living in it through the winter. Uh, but I'm not scared anymore of that challenge. And so I realized I need to give myself a new challenge. I've got complacent. I thought that I completed the challenge and now I'm done and now life's easy. But that's not how it goes, baby. I got to keep challenging myself. So, okay, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. Lucky Thrives is the man with the land who was so gracious to let me come down here and do my thing. Um, ever since I've been down here, I, I haven't been able to like, I haven't paid him rent or nothing. I've, uh, I've been helping him out here and there, but nothing consistent. And that's mainly because my main goal while on this property, Lucky Thrives and his lady, Ciara, were living up here in the bus a few years ago and that was their dream was to live out here in little alaska and have a farm and all their animals and dogs and everything but then the fire came through and ruined that and uh 
So my goal since I've been down here, uh, my main goal for this property before I leave, I can't leave this property until I can help Lucky Thrives thrive up here on the mountain. And my plan was to do that by helping him boost his YouTube page and hopefully he can start making enough money from YouTube to live up here. I wanted to do it organically by helping him make better content, giving him ideas and just helping him with the experience that I've got to, to have him build his own page organically. Cause if I didn't just giving him shout outs, he'll get the subscribers or whatever, but it's not the best way to build a community. So it's, it's been a, Slow process, but fast too. He's doing really good. Um, but I have come up with an idea, guys, that makes everything super sick. Me and Lucky have talked a little bit about him starting to post his videos on my YouTube channel so that he can start generating more revenue right now, put more eyes on his content, and then the challenge, my first challenge is going to be making a farm. I want to make a farm for Lucky Thrives. I want to get horses and chickens and rabbits and alpacas and goats. And I want to do it all this spring and summer. I gave myself not a lot of time to do it because I want to be thrown into situations that are challenging and scary for me. And I think that gives Derek enough time to build up his YouTube videos into making enough money to live out here and take care of the farm. Hear me out. Next spring, hear me out. When I buy property in Alaska, move to Alaska with only hand tools for real this time and do the same thing. Build a cabin in the spring and summer that I can live in through the winter. That's the real challenge, guys. And then when I'm in Alaska, you guys will still be able to watch all of the Lucky Farm videos on the same YouTube channel, so it'll be real easy peasy to keep up at to stay up to date on what's going on with everything, and then I can come visit the farm whenever and say what's up to Lucky, and it'll be so cool. I've been saying it since back in Oregon that I was gonna go to Alaska and uh, challenge myself there in Alaska, um, and I think that it's time. It's never actually time. You're never fully prepared. You got to jump into things when you feel like you can mentally prepare for it. You don't got to be actually prepared. Just mentally prepared. That's the only way to get things done. So, I'm going to Alaska and doing the same thing and challenging myself in negative 60 degree temperatures. That's going to be sick. I have a bunch of plans. And a bunch of stuff to talk about for that. But that's in the future, guys. First is the farm. And before that is just making everything look way cooler. I still have the rest of the winter. Um, to just kind of mess around and make things cooler. I, uh, I have a few projects I want to get done before I start building like a chicken coop and a spot for rabbits and all that but i'm gonna get all that done in the spring so yeah that is my plans guys um thank you guys so much for watching you guys are the best community of all time i hope that my journey can help inspire you guys to take risks in life um and to live life to the fullest. One last thing I have to hopefully help you guys with that journey. I have a ball. A phone died, but we back. I have a ball. 
of energy in my hand. It's a very good ball of energy. And it gives you lots of energy. To conquer. Energy ball whoop oh, Energy ball whoop I stood up for that one, guys. I appreciate you guys a ton again, dude. And uh, I'm going to get to grinding. Actually, I'm going to get to uploading this one and then get to grinding and then film it. And show you guys. And merch is coming soon. Merch is coming soon too, guys. All right. Have a beautiful day. Willie out. Hey. Hey. I make the glizzy flit right the string around the hood. Wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey. I reel it in. Looking out for bears. Cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.